This is going to be so much fun, I think. We're going to ask Photoshop to generate an image based on a composition and a style that we provide. I asked my five-year-old son to draw me a car, and he gave me this masterpiece. So let's use it as a composition reference. I'm going to create a 2000 by 2000 pixels document. And without adding any layers, you should see this Generate Image button on the Contextual Taskbar, which you can open by going to Window, Contextual Taskbar. If you click on it, it'll open this window where you can enter a prompt to describe the image, let's say a futuristic car in a city. And then here under Reference Image, you'll see Composition. Click on it and either choose one of these examples or click here to use your own image. I'm going to use my son's drawing as a reference. And this is telling Photoshop to generate an image with the same structure and visual arrangement as this reference image. And you can use the strength slider to adjust how closely the generated image will match the reference image you provided. So I'll increase it all the way to the max. Now for the style reference image, you can choose one of these styles or use your own image as well. I downloaded this one from the link in the description and I'll set it as a style reference. This means that Photoshop will follow the visual style of this image and apply it to the generated image. Finally, you can choose to have it as art or photo or don't choose anything to set it to auto and you can choose one of these effects as well. I'm just gonna click generate, wait for it to process and there you have it. Three options of generated images based on our composition and style references. Using the Properties panel, let's change the prompt. I'll enter a retro scene of an old car in a city. Click here to change the style reference. I'll choose this retro style for this one and click Generate again. And here are three more options for a different prompt, a different style, but based on the same composition reference. Let me show you another example. This is a 3D text that I created in Illustrator and I want it to float on water. So I added this shape around it. I made it blue just to differentiate between the water and text. This is my composition reference. As for the style reference, I used this image, which is also AI generated. Then I entered this prompt and here's the final image that was generated. Then I changed the prompt. I removed the style reference and I got this dark, scary version of the image. Last example, this is the composition reference, this is the style reference, this is the prompt, and this is the generated image.